Hey there. So saying that we have to create this pivot arm with dimensions in Mala meters, all right? So here is how it looks like. So these are the dimensions as you can see they are in millimeters. So let's come here and start the drawing. So the way to do it is you go the you see new sketch standard millimeter and then you start from the so in here you come up with the rectangles so that's my first and this one here need to have dimensions as indicated on the sketch that one needs to be one zero zero and yeah you need to have five 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 great again you need to have the center line there is my center line there is my center line and i have to make sure that this one here is parallel to that one you know stuff happens you know stuff happens so you need to make sure about that so that's one they need to be 27 and a half 27 and a half that's great that's great so you come here you draw this other line there is my other line again this one needs to be parallel to that it is parallel now i'm from b to z that one needs to be 15 millimeters that need to be 15 millimeter so once we get this one day so we come here for the other rectangle so this one here from v up to the that one need to be 75 that need to be 75 millimeters and here i need to have 85 millimeters so 85 millimeter and here i need to have 115 one one five once i get us one here i come for the center line this is the center line again i need to make sure that the center line is parallel to the sides of my rectangle and this one from b to v need to be 42 enough need to be 42 enough once i get us one done i need to come now for the hole so i need to have a hole here okay and this one need to be from the up to v that need to be 30 30 30 that's great and from the up to the oh that is that's already done and i can trim that spot i don't need that spot as well here yeah, i don't need those spots there so now i have to come with the circles that's my first that's my second that's my first that's my second and this one's here this one need to be seven zero okay this need to be seven zero and thus come on sorry thus need to be go to that all right and this one here need to be escape need to be one five zero one five zero great as well as that one okay one five zero once i have that one written there so again from the up to the i need to have five millimeters there. that need to be five millimeter thank you and now from the center up to the that need to be four four point nine two that need to be four four point nine two I come here now now from here up to the that one need to be one four point four one seven thank you All right and now from uh, the up to the that need to be eight point eight point zero four that's great so now i need to make sure about this the dimension now from v up to v that's one need to be one eight five as per our drawing that's one need to be one eight five great okay so once i have those ones in place what i need to do now i need now to draw this line here i need to draw the circle here so there is my circle i need to have a circle here all right there is it and this one here need to be 12 millimeter for the diameter that need to be 12 millimeter and here 
from the up to the that one need to be 660 great so once i have those ones in place now i need to make sure about those so i need to cut the with this line you know why so i have that line there so i come here and i trim that spot and this spot again this one as well so i need to cut it there all right and i need to make sure first that this one is parallel to that thank you and i need to cut there so i don't need that i don't need this one all right so once i have those ones there so i need to remove this spot here i don't need spot i don't need that spot i don't need this side i don't need that side i don't need that side and here again i don't need the side i don't need the side i don't need this one here i don't need this one here all right this one as well so i need to remove first these dimensions you know sometimes dimension can cause confusion all right so i need to trim <coughs> that spot i need to trim this spot i need to trim that spot i need to trim this spot as well i need to trim that spot i need to trim that spot that as well this one and that one here and they again i need to delete that one i need to delete that one i come here i need to delete the spot here and then i have to trim that one and that one all right come on why not going so let me just let me go back let me delete this part here all right sometimes that's why can give confusion you see ah no big deal no big deal you can still do this part thank you so i trim this part and that part i trim that one and that one so once we have this one done mm -hmm. once we have that one done, no, 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 you need to remove it so once we have that one done i come here i say 3d model then I say revolve. So I want now to revolve this part against this axis. And I say revolve. Thank you. Then I come here, I say uh, visibility. So I come here, then I want to extrude this part that's holding where is the hole this is the hole i want to revolve i want to through the hole so by 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters this side thank you so again i say extrude so i want to extrude this part against this axis i say okay again i say oh that was involved i say extrude i want to extrude this part against no no that's to extrude it so by 25 millimeters by 25 millimeters to five both sides like that i say okay so once that is done you can see now this is how my sample looks like so now i have to cut the corner so this one and that one need to have a fillet okay and uh this side and that one they need to have a fillet of six millimeter radius six millimeter radius as indicated on the drawing that six millimeter radius come again and while we're waiting for this and inside the we need to have a fillet of two millimeter radius so here that side and the side again this side and the side we need to have a flat of two millimeter radius that's great so now we come here we come here so you see that you're getting there this is a pivot arm so we come here that's one and this one and that one and this one come on move 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 and this one and this one need to have a radius of 12 millimeter 12 millimeter a fillet of 12 millimeter radius 
and here yeah, this side as well this one need to be applied this side that need to be applied so i come here i say this and that okay that need to be applied as well thank you so now i need to remove the visibility so i come here i say visibility removed so now the visibility has been removed so you can see this is how your drawing looks like as indicated on your sketch all right so now i need to give the material so let's say this need to be in stainless steel let's choose stainless steel where is stainless steel that is stainless steel so you see how beautiful your material looks like you can see how beautiful your material looks like so it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you're gonna enjoy it for now, I'm going to ask you to take care of yourself and see you on the next video. Please, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe because I don't want you to miss what's going to be happening in the next videos. But now, I want to show you something so I can go for silicone nitrate. I like that. Look at the way it looks like. This is, this is your beautiful. So, cheers. Bye.